Hello everyone. You know, Postman is really amazing. But from now, I am not going to use Postman because we have new Thunder client extension for VS Code. This is really, really amazing. So let's see what this Thunder client is. I think we don't need Postman. Why? Because now we have this Thunder Client VS Code extension. This is really, really amazing, very light since this is just an extension and it's inside your VS Code. No need for any uh, Chrome extension or any external app to install in your system. So how this is going to work? Let's see. First, you need to go on this uh, extension panel where we can just click or you can just press command shift and x or maybe control shift and x inside the uh, windows here let's search for thunder client and i think client spelling is wrong but i should get it here so make sure the logo is correct this is the logo same logo and if you don't have you have to install it i already have installed what next after this you can just press command shift and p or maybe control shift and p in windows and then say thunder once you do this you get this five i think yeah correct five options and here are various options available so uh, focus on thunder client view what is this if i click here you can see there is a side panel sidebar panel for the thunder client and from this panel you can just click on the new request to create that or if you don't want once again press command shift and p and then say thunder here is a new request if you want you can add the keyboard shortcut to it and that's uh, i think very simple in vs code but it's now having a reload system so you can reload it and run last request show thunder client the same thing okay so let's move what is this and how we are going to use it new request see this is a very nice interface where we have on the left side how we perform and on the right side we get the result you can obviously change this uh, size and then let's click on send this is a default uh, endpoint we are going to send and processing and here we get the result this is absolutely amazing and as i told you this is very very light you get the status code size time and headers if you want to get and that's really amazing you can copy anything if you want i believe yes i can copy yeah i can copy that so this is this is really really great and uh, Next is we can see if we are sending any cookies and some test result. We will come to the test result later but let's see what this is going to do for us. For that I'm going to the open weather API and I'm going to use the API of this current weather data. So let's go on API docs and here we are. So I'm going to copy this and here I'm going to paste it. Now it says you need to give the city name. So let's say I want the Delhi weather and it need the API key also. So let's go on the open weather API and here click on your account API keys and here is the one don't try to use this because i'm going to delete this after this tutorial now let's go and here paste it and you can see whatever we are giving as a parameter they are defining here so instead of sending like this i am going to send that from here so i say app id is this one and make sure the spelling of the city is correct so now if i hit send on the response yes we can see everything is here country and it's cloudy latitude longitude everything is given here now next thing is suppose uh, we want to have some other thing like i want to have uh, mm, let's say this one so suppose i want to have q city and state code also so what if i want to use this endpoint now if i use this endpoint so i say clean and now i need the app id here again so now this is the important point we once again need to go and copy this and paste it because we lost it now instead of doing this we can create the environment variable and we can directly use it here how we can use it first let's open the thunder client view here we are 
on the env part if we go here click here create new environment and i call it to open weather just the name and inside this i can create app id is this one and i can simply save it so it says now it is saved since we are using this one and then we can simply use the double curly braces and i say app id and this is obviously coming from our environment variable so we have done that and now we need to provide this as uh, let's say my city indoor and uh, i think the code is M mp so hit send and it says city not found so maybe uh, 3771 yeah that's here so th that was actually the pin code or the city code cool so this is the very nice way because we have now moved our api key into the environment variable so one more time if you go here we have this activities whenever you hit anything inside this bar inside thunder client it's actually going to record everything for you so if you want to check here you can see still we are using directly as a string <laughs> so now we can change it to api not app id and this should be delhi only and it's going to work cool one amazing thing here is that if you are going to send post request obviously you can send the body as json xml whatever you want but there are test thing what test says that if you want like if i'm giving this uh, for particular this one this endpoint if i have response code is going to be equal to 200 so see now response code is 200 if i send it once again now you can see that it says test result which is passing but somehow suppose your api has broken now i have deleted the d from the delhi and if i send it it's saying 404 now the test result is failing so we have defined the exact condition we always need to do and whenever we want to check if anything is broken or not we can simply run the test and it's going to find it which api is working and which is not so this is very nice you can actually send something from here so if i have application json uh, accept and suppose i have uh, accept and content type also so maybe we can provide as application json everything is there and make sure i have delhi yeah that's good and if we are having the bearer token you can define it here like uh, bearer and space here comes token you can move the token into the environment variable and now you can see have you noticed this thing this is very amazing we don't have the token in our environment variable and that's why it's not green colored but suppose i give the token as anything save it and now it become green so this is actually a feedback that hey whatever you have used as an environment variable is really available so this is the thunder client for vs code and time to say bye bye to the postman what you like postman or thunder client just give me your feedback and your views in the comment section below comment that and if you like this episode please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe share this video with your friends and we will meet in the next video till then goodbye